walking down the street, we hear so many different languages and accents, and it's it's just fascinating. I'm the sort of person who would listen in to hear what language it is or what the accent is, because I guess I'm kind of nosy, and I really want to know where the people are from. This is a fancy, fancy place. Very different to the thrift stores that we're going to. Wow, so many bridal dresses. So many. There's even one with bits of black lace on it. This, I'm guessing this is not a party dress. I mean, it's not a bridal dress, is it? It's a party dress. Oh, they have labels like that section at the back. It's flower girl and then that's bridesmaid. It's actually heavy. You can still get one dollar. Pizza slices. And this is the size. The is definitely bigger than my hand can. about something rather interesting lately, about thrifting. A thrift shop is a store that sells secondhand clothes and other household goods, typically to raise funds for a charitable institution. And thrifting is the act of buying things from these places. Have you noticed that thrifting has become really popular these days? In fact, over the next 10 years, fast fashion trends are expected to remain flat. Department stores are going to lose market share, whereas secondhand stuff is becoming a global phenomenon and is expected to grow 127% by 2026. And North America leads the global secondhand apparel at eight times the overall apparel market. And its value is expected to reach $82 billion by 2026. And this is all mainly driven by tech and online marketplaces. And so I thought we could go and explore some New York City thrift stores together. Right now I'm trying to find the thrift stores that I found online. I also tried really hard to find a quiet street to record from. Not happening. Cannot find. Oh, is this it? I think so. Okay, let's go in and check it out. I should probably explain what got me into visiting thrift stores to start with. To summarize, it's a result of two reasons. One, my sister, and two, controversy. Because who doesn't like a little bit of drama? Let me set the scene. It was starting to get summary. My sister just got her driver's license. And that usually means a lot of driving around, even if gas prices are, well, as they were. Apparently, it's about finally having some feeling of freedom, independence, mobility, yada yada, that sort of thing. And one day, she bombards me with lots of photos of stuff. It was from a thrift haul she just did. It's important to mention that prior to this, I had had two experiences with thrift stores. Once by accident, I entered the wrong location and everything was very vintagey. Everyone looked like they knew exactly what they were doing. They were dressed super coolly and I felt really out of place. The second time was with a friend who was looking for a costume for a film shoot. All I remember was the distinct smell of an attic and seeing lots and lots of bridesmaids dresses. So when my sister sent me these photos, my immediate thought was, oh, so you're hopping onto that whole thrifting Trend. But then I noticed that the stuff didn't look half bad at all. And the prices were wow. And then with all the moving that I've been doing, and in case you haven't seen it yet, here's a video of me moving out of Hong Kong and here's a video of me moving into New York City. I realized that I have a lot of stuff and I don't use 80% of it, probably closer to 90%, but to be on the safe side, let's say 80. This is mainly clothes and some other little knickknacks that I've managed to accumulate over time and for some reason never want to throw away. It's like that box or drawer of random electronics that we don't even know what they're used for anymore, but for some reason we still keep it and we don't want to throw it away. Anyway, as it turns out, lots of people are into thrifting. I'll get into the controversy part later, but let's first visit the stores. Hey. Consumers are buying secondhand clothing over new pieces are one, to save money, two, to afford higher end brands, three, to find one of a kind items, 
For Gen Zers, who are born between 1997 and 2012, and by the way, they are doing the most shopping in thrift stores out of any age group. Their reasons are number one, to save money, number two, to be more sustainable, and number three, to have more fun whilst shopping. To them, it's a lifestyle. It's like this cool thing that you do when you go and hunt for something unique. It's apparently part of college culture. This looks amazing, right? The younger generations doing good for the world. Well, the internet thinks otherwise. And that leads me to the controversy that piqued my interest. You see, due to the popularity of thrifting, a problem has surfaced on the internet, and they call this the gentrification of thrift stores. Resellers are buying up things, thrift shop YouTubers buy more than they need, and thrift flippers are buying up the oversized items that they can then make into smaller fitted pieces. Basically, according to the internet, too much thrifting is happening. So what's the issue with that? Well, apparently, lower income people are getting priced out of thrift stores, and plus size consumers are left with very few options. The resale marketplace is a perfect embodiment of free market capitalization. Young consumers who have little experience or knowledge of being able to discern vintage items may end up paying way above average for the pieces. In fact, lots of items are marked vintage just so that they're easier to sell. By the way, the term vintage only applies to things that are over 20 years old. But in a competitive market, this is simply supply and demand. The question is, is the gentrification of thrift stores outpricing the people who need it the most? According to author and professor Jennifer Lazard, no. She explains that thrift stores used to be a place that gave people access to newer fashions and this benefited lower income families, immigrants. But in the 20th century, thrift stores became a place where Americans discard their items in order to be able to buy new items. And this sped up the demand for new items, such as fast fashion and ultra fast fashion. Just for reference, brands like Sheen and Fashion Nova release hundreds of new styles per week. That sounds pretty crazy. Another thing that happened during COVID is that so many clothes got donated, it ended up being more than the charities could handle. So many of the pieces of clothing ended up in landfill or sold for super cheaply over Basically, instead of the stuff finding a new owner and a new home, it ended up being clothing waste. So buyers are not out buying the donations or the production of new clothes. Thrift stores have always separated the high quality items and priced them higher, or they upcycled them or sold them in higher priced stores. Okay, I just came out of the first of the three that we're visiting today. It was a very cute shop. I love the music that they had inside and it was very upbeat, it was happy and then it makes you really want to kind of I don't know, party with everyone? But the stuff was a little bit out of budget. The stuff was quite nice, a little bit old fashioned, which I guess I'm not surprised about. And even though I did like the aesthetic of some of the stuff, the fact that I cannot return it and the fact that it is not new, so it might break, it makes it not as worthwhile for the price that it's listed. Anyway, let's go to the next one and see if we find anything in that one. Luckily, the second one is right around the corner, so once I finish popping through... Yeah, Dave, this stuff looks a bit too good. You know what I mean? The first thrift store definitely felt cooler and more organized. The second one was a bit messier. Maybe not as well kept. I think the items were a little bit cheaper and the items weren't as classy as the first one. Uh oh. This one's shot, my friend. But we can still have a peek at what they have in this place. 
Ooh, this one's quite trendy. I really like what she's wearing. That's what the shop looks like. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the first one that we went into. Sorry, we're closed. I still wanted to go to a third thrift store just to see what types of thrift stores there are out there. So I googled it and I found Goodwill. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. So let's go inside and check it out. I'm really digging brown these days. Yeah, something about that. I don't know if it's an age thing or if it's something else. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a, it's something you use as a storage box, right? And the clothes. Well, it definitely gets the vibe that I'm looking for. Reflections. Ah, so how did I feel after all of those visits? I went into the stores with half the mindset of just exploring, and then the second half, in the back of my mind, I was actually looking for pieces that are more individualistic, stylistic, things that have a bit more character. That's not like Ikea or Amazon, because I moved into a new place and I wanted to give it a bit more personality. However, what made it really hard for me was the fact that I couldn't return things. Which completely makes sense because it's already second hand. But I've gotten so used to being able to return things on Amazon really conveniently. And also being able to just return things in the US in general. The US is very lenient when it comes to returns policies. I'm not usually someone who buys things in the spur of the moment. I plan it out a lot more. I think about whether I need it or not, pros and cons. In fact, I probably overthink a bit too much. But in essence, not being able to return it was a big downside for me. And I'm not used to that yet. And then there's the issue of things breaking on me. I was honestly considering a couple of the bags that I saw because I need a little black bag and mine, eh, it's time to swap it out. But then I saw that there were scuff marks and that led me to worry about whether or not the straps would get too worn too quickly. I wonder also, having a car would have definitely helped because there were some bigger items that I quite liked, but there was no way that I could carry that home. I think thrift shopping is definitely Definitely something that you need to get used to, at least for me. It's a bit hard to do when you're tight for time because it does take quite a lot of digging, but maybe if it's seen more as an event or an outing with friends, then it could work. I definitely do think that there's a place for thrifting, and if it's done without the hoarding part which the internet seems obsessed over these days, it could be very beneficial for society. For now, I may not be a thrifter just yet but I do think that there is merit in buying secondhand items and giving them a new home. So that's something that I'll be exploring in the future. Do you go thrifting? Let me know in the comments below what have your experiences been like in thrift stores and have you heard about that controversy? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, a lovely week, and I wish you all the best. Until next time, bye.